Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this video, we are going to solve numerical examples on rectangular notches and weirs. So those of you who have not yet gone through my previous lecture, where I have made you understand about what is rectangular notches and weirs and what are the formulas to calculate the flow rate using, I mean using notches and weirs, kindly go to those lecture first and then come back to this lecture. Okay, let me take the pen tool. The first numerical that we have is, find the discharge of water flowing over a rectangular notch of 2 meter length when the constant head over the notch is 300 mm and take CD which is coefficient of discharge for the notch as 0 0.6. So, you have been given a rectangular notch. Uh, you can see that the water body, the open water body is where the water is flowing and you have the notch in front of that to measure the flow rate. If you look at it from the front, you will see the water is flowing through this notch and the height capital H is given to you as 300 mm. So, I will write down what are the given datas with us. I have capital H as 300 mm and as we normally do, I will put all these values in SI unit which is meter. So, if you want to convert mm into meter, you have to divide the value by 1000. Then the length is given to you as 2 meters. The length of the notch is 2 meters. So, I will put L equals to 2 meters and CD is given to you as 0 0.6. Very simply, if you want to calculate the flow rate, the formula says that Q actual is equals to CD into 2 by 3 under root 2G into L into H raised to 3 by 2. Simple, right? So, let us put the, all the values because we have all the values over here. CD is 0 0.6 into 2 by 3 into under root 2 into 9.81 which is the value of G, length is 2 meters and H is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 raised to 3 by 2. So, I will calculate the answer, it is 0.6 into 2 divided by 3 into under root of 2 into 9.81 into 2 into 0.3 raised to 3 by 2. I am getting 0 0.582 meter cube per second as the flow rate. So, the actual flow rate of water flowing through this open water body is 0 0.582 meter cube per second. Let me check the answer. Yes, this is correct. So, I hope you understood how to calculate the flow rate uh, of a water flowing through the open uh, uh, flowing through the open water bodies like canals and rivers using rectangular notches and weirs. Let us take another example. I have determined the height of a rectangular weir of a length 6 meter to be built across a rectangular channel. The maximum depth of water on the upstream side of the weir is 1.8 meters and the discharge is 2000 liters per second and take CD as 0 0.6. Now see what is given to you. You have been said that there is a open water body uh, channel flowing where the water is flowing through it. It is a rectangular in shape and you have to build a rectangular uh, weir basically, rectangular weir and you are supposed to find out the height of the rectangular weir. So, if I draw the side view, I will put it like this. For us, from a side view, let us say that this is the main portion of the weir and, and you have water flowing over it and you have water flowing over it. So, this is the water. So, let us say water is flowing. So, all the way there is water filled, right? And water is flowing over it. So, the, the maximum height of water flowing is somewhere over here. So, let us suppose that if I draw the height from here to this point, this height is let us say capital H because height over the rectangular weir and then you have to calculate this height, this. Let us say the height of the depth basically, the height of rectangular weir. So, let us write this as small h r for rectangular weir, right. And it is said that the maximum depth of water on the upstream side is 1.8 meters. That means, this is a no, this is a weir, this side is called upstream and this is called downstream. So, maximum, uh, maximum depth of water, so this is the depth on upstream side is how much? 1.8 meters, which means what will be h r? If I want to calculate, I should say that your height of the rectangular weir is coming out to be total 1.8 minus this h, 1.8 minus h. 
Now, what is capital H? It is the total height of water flowing above the uh, kind of rectangular weir. So, we know that if I talk about the flow rate, if I have been given the flow rate in the formula of flow rate, I have the uh, variable called H and I can easily find out H from there. How? Let me now mention the formula Q actual. Let me say this is equation number 1. So, in, in order to get HR, I need to get capital H. Q actual is equal to CD into 2 by 3 into under root G into L into H raised to 3 by 2. Now, firstly, what are the data given to me? I have been given Q actual is 2000 liters per second. I hope you are aware that I need to cal cal uh, convert this value into meter cube per second for the SI unit. And whenever you want to convert liter into meter cube, you have to divide the liters by 1000. So, when you divide it by 1000, you will get 2 meter cube per second. So, this is the flow rate. Right? Alright. Now, let us substitute the values. So, I have 2. CD is 0 0.6. 2 by 3. Under root 2 into 9.81. What is the length? Length given to you is 6 meters. 6 into H raised to 3 by 2. So, firstly, I will take all this value on the left hand side. I will divide this and then I will find the value of H raised to 3 by 2. Let me calculate 2 into 3 divided by 0 0.6 divided by 2 divided by 6 divided by under root of 2 into 9.81. I am getting H raised to 3 by 2 as 0 0.188 and now if you want to calculate H, you have to do 0 0.188 raised to 2 by 3. So, this is reverse when it takes on the right hand side, right? This is raised to 2 by 3, you will get H is 0 0.238 meters. So, then you can substitute this H over here to get the final HR. So, this HR will be equals to 1.8 minus capital H which is 1.8 minus 0 0.328. So, HR will be equals to 1.8 minus 0 0.328. It is 1.47 meters. So, the height of the weir will be this height will be 1.47 meter. This is the answer. Clear? Let me check the answer. Yes, the height is correct. So, the height is 1.47 meter. So, that is it for the numerical. I hope you understood how to solve the numericals of uh, rectangular notches and weirs. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.